<laughs> well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm at my hobo. I want to show all my new my new subscribers and some of my old subscribers my hobo camp. Well, let's take a look. First, I'm going to take this bag off, which is 100 pounds. And I want to show you around my camps. So come along with me. Let's take a look. Because some of my new YouTubers never seen this. Alright, I got a fire chimney here. And I do need, this place needs some love. Alright, it's pretty dark in here. I'm sorry for that. Maybe the light shine in here, but I have a fire pit. I got firewood. Oh shit, looks like somebody been out here. Or I did that one or the other. Alright, I have two cocks under here. Cocks. Um, I got surround lights. I have buckets of food and some extra stuff. I have tons of extra buckets for whatever. Some equipment. Uh, over here, me and, me and the Grumpy built a clay stove. If you want to look at one of my videos, check out that. This is my clay stove. It's a four burner. I have this to heat up the, this area during cold days. And over here, I want to show you. This is my kitchen sink and shower. Let's check for bees. Check in for bees. Hello, Mr. Bees. Hello. Usually I have bees on the corner right here. But this is my shower in the middle of the woods. Look at that. Do you have running water in the middle of the woods like I do? I also have a swimming pool. We did put some fish in there, but we don't, I don't know if they're still alive or passed away. I don't know. It's been a while since I did any fishing in it. And I got to fix this tarp. And over here is my, my zinc. And over here is my tool shed. I have a rake, some other tools for this place. I got a, a log book. All the times I've been out here, some tarps in there. I you know, hope the tarps are still good. All right, there's my shower. I just want to show you the different size. So I'm gonna come out here tomorrow to camp out for two days. That don't look right. It looks dry here, but wet on the outside. Damn, I wonder why. All right, take a look on this side. I have plenty of firewood for this area. I got, oh look, a little toad. Almost stepped on him. I got, all this is firewood. And this is my little small sticks and stuff. And this is uh, just a tarp. I forgot where I did. Uh, uh, I was supposed to take that camouflage tarp and go behind this to make a cubby hole so when I'm out here this would be nice and warm and toast when I like these these uh, stoves and what I do I bring all them buckets and put it right here when me and my friend the grumpy co comes out here and I have a challenge for anybody anybody who comes out here and camps for seven days with or without me you don't have to camp all seven days will win a badass prize. So any of you YouTubers live in Louisiana and or Mississippi and want to come down to camp at Ranger Cookies Camp for seven days with or without me, you don't have to do it all one day or all one week. You can do it, you can skip or whatever and just help me build on the camp. You win a cool prize. So What's going on with the uh, camp and the uh, places? Now, I wish I was younger. I want to show you this real quick. I wish I was younger. And when I found this camp. Because there's another fire place right there. 
and a lot of wood. This is an old house. It has a lot of wood. I like to save some of this wood and build around that, but they got so much poison oak. It's, it's gonna be like a miracle to clean kill everything. There's another little dry spot. Let's look up. I wanna know why. Is that really poison oak? What is that? What kind of... That's not poison oak. What the hell is this? Anybody knows what this is? Let me know. Is it some type of poisonous plant? Or a choking vine? Alright. Let's take a look at the rest of the camp system and all the trails that I have out here to go to different camps. Pretty, all, all the flowers, and there's a tree, the house. I'm saying tree. Who might come with tree anyway? Um, one evening, I was coming back over here to Hobo to clean the, some fish we caught at the bayou. I want to show you the bayou too. And I seen the white tail's ass right here, and he just ran that way. White tail. Oh, yeah. And I saw Bambi too. It's like a deer spot for the later, later for the night, because I see deer here all the time. So maybe that's one of the little resting spot. Look, we got we got claw marks from a monster. I also came out here to check out my camp, and I did an upgrade, an update date on my camp, and all the stuff nearby. So I'm I came out here to check it. And it was full of water. I had tons of water. I got like a hundred gallons of water. And when I go dump it, it went all over me. And there's my uh, these tarps. You, ooh, look at the spider right there. Eee, don't you hate those things? Okay. Most of these tarps are always down. I pick them up during the summer. Uh, let it breeze through air when I'm working out here. This is my new system. If you see some of my old videos, it was made out of wood. So I bought one of those car garage things and brought it out here to protect my camp forever. I will never have to replace any of the wood. I'm sorry, but this is the way I like to do things. Oh man, I left the bush chair open. I forgot to put a push chair up. I need to pick that up before I leave. Damn it. This is my little fire pit. In my little fire pit I have this cast iron. And after you get the fire really hot, you throw that cast iron in. And that cast iron will stay hot for hours. So if you during the winter days and you just throw that cast iron in that fire, it will heat up that cast iron and it will keep you warm or keep it hot in this area for a long period of time. I had two bush chairs, but the other one just rotted away. Um, I did a lot of updates in this area. But I have, to, I have to rebuild this area really better. But you see how... It, you can see some older videos how I did everything. But here you go. This is the new camping system. I, with the tarps and all my camping stuff that I have out here that I picked up over the years and my boss threw like a lot of stuff away I picked it all up that's more bush bushcraft over there than this and this is the the junk I got a uh, I want to show you my little kitchen zinc I have here with a milk crate, and guess what? I have running water out here. Alright, I want to show you the bayou now. I got a couple of traps out here. So if I want to catch some animals or whatever I can. Crab trap, you just throw it in the bayou, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you next, the bayou. Check out my older videos, folks. Um, 
on the bayou trail. I'm going to show you the bayou now. It's right down here. Look how pretty that water is today. You saw it your own eyes. That was a nice monster fish. Must have been a basque. The water is pretty high. Usually it's a little lower. But it's a little high today. Maybe near almost state. Uh, that's the Bayou Trail that goes to the bamboo camp. And over here is the other part of the Bayou Trail. This is why I got a lot of drop off lines. Man, look at all the water rushing. There. When I get my uh, pelican, that's where it's going to come in and park. And I got a nice big shoot of bamboo. Look at that. I'm thinking about coming out here uh, tomorrow for a two-day stay. You get to watch me do updates on my camp. Uh, usually the snake is over here, so I'll be careful. Always check the snakes, because you never know when they're going to bite you. And, uh, that was going to be me and Andrew's camp, but he said it was too close to the bayou. Let's take a look real quick at this uh, camp that was or going or was going to be our camp. It's pretty high. It's off the bayou. This whole circle area was going to be our camp, but he didn't like it. So I, I found both of these areas, all these areas, and he found the uh, other area where the other house is, the first uh, hobo. Alright, let's finish our little tour here. Of... Boy, look at all that water. Just... I don't remember putting that up there. I usually don't like to show my quartz. Usually they're down here like that. And I got a couple of drop lines along this area. Cut! Action! So here's one of my drop lines I have. And I have a couple more drop lines to this little trail and it goes to a ditch. Look, look! Fishy jump. I wish fishy jump online. All right. This is my tour of my camp. If you have any questions about my camp, please ask below and I'll make a video. I'll see if I can post this video as soon as possible. But I did a canteen cup cook off. So that's going to be up for this one. Look, look, look at all these fishies. Your perchies. Yep, my camp needs to be cleaned out more. You know, I got to clean out the trails and. And, uh, here's my. Yeah, and by the way, that. The, uh,. The camp thing, it goes for any of my camps. Summer camp, hobo, or this camp. This needs to be fixed too. This is my wood bin. Got plenty of wood for whatever I need. And I need to get all that stuff off the ground for rots. And I got tin to reflect the heat back towards us for those chilly nights. And that's it. I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget, anybody who's in Louisiana or Mississippi or lives by and wants to come out and camp with the Ranger Cookie, come on down. Leave me, let me know. Uh, anybody who camps in my area for seven days with or without me, you don't have to do all seven days in one time. You win a cool prize. So far, Grumpy owes me one more day and he wins his cool prize. And I got a couple of fishing poles, which don't belong there. 
and a lot of, that was my old bush chairs that got rotten because they've been so long and before I go here's my a-frame bed that needs to be replaced oh so <sighs> I miss my camp all right I read your cookie see you next video Wait.